happy Tuesday. Thank you much for joining us on 710 KURV. The report says that the Obamacare taxes will be hitting you in 2014. And I say you because the good majority of this audience is middle class, lower, upper middle class. CPA and IRS problem specialist Joe Mastriano, our guest on 710 KURV. Happy New Year, Joe. How you been? Well, Happy New Year. Hey, I've been great, except when I found out how much my insurance premiums went up. Well, let's start from, from that point. Can you give us some personal examples of how much is going up for you? Actually, a couple of hundred dollars more per month. Luckily, we got better coverage. We, we were lucky, but that's just this year because they're phasing in rates. And if I was at a higher level, um, I mean, we're not a platinum level or anything like that, but those top-level plans, after a couple of years, they're going to be a 40% additional tax on it. It's, he's phasing in something that's really going to hurt a lot of people. Um, so over the next 12, maybe 24 months, we will be seeing increases in premiums or, or change in the, changes in policies that will be forced on us that will be requiring us to pay more. Well, yeah, that's happening now. Everyone is going to get fined at least $95 as a minimum if they don't have insurance. Uh, and it's the most, the maximum of 1% of that, of your taxable income. So a few hundred dollars for most people. And then it goes up. And then employees can be in tax like $2,000, $3,000 per person. It, it's kind of ridiculous. I thought as a small business owner, I would get a credit against it because I was waiting for insurance for my own employees. And um, no, I wouldn't qualify for a credit because when you average the owner's salaries in and if you're a small business, they, you know, we're just a handful of people and, and we don't meet those minimums. On you know, the horizon, we, Joe, the mandates on employers and all of us that are on certain safe beachheads, we think we are, we might be, certain safe beachheads at the moment, um, I'm concerned that there might be some surprises in premiums going up for the employer to the point where the employer says, you know what, uh, I'm not going to swallow the 20, 25, 30, 40 percent increase in premium. I'm just going to boot everyone onto the exchange. You guys figure it out. And by the way, here's a small check to help cover whatever it is that you need to pay. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right for companies less than 25 people. Uh, that's exactly right. I had those thoughts myself because everyone's premiums have gone up. Insurance companies are passing that on to the insured, to the consumer, and the medical devices, pacemakers, and artificial limbs, 2.3%. Uh, and what's really interesting is you would think that with the cost going up, you'd get to deduct it, but... The tax deduction has changed, too. Uh, those of us who itemize our deduction, normally we subtract 7.5% of adjusted gross income, which basically is a smaller number, and we pay the difference that we, I mean, we get to deduct the difference that we spend in medical costs. Now we have to deduct 10%, which is a larger number, shrinking the amount of medical expenses. So right off our personal tax okay. return. So 10% is a 2014 uh, threshold, is that what you're saying? Uh, correct. Okay. Correct. CPS and IRS problem specialist Joe Mastriano, our guest on 710-KURV. Mr. Mastriano, Tim Sullivan here. Good morning to you. Good morning. If you Google Killer IRS, that's my official U.S. trademark, Killer IRS. I have a blog. I have more Obamacare information, and, and I, I keep up with all the current. I have a news blog, and I keep up with all the current tax okay. information. These phase in of the higher premiums, they do end up helping the very small businesses, don't they? I, I think the threshold is less than 50 employees. You said 25. I believe it's 50. Plus, lower income people are aided as well. These folks who in the past were stuck between being unable to afford their own private health insurance and also ineligible for Medicaid. Uh, I mean, somebody has to pay for Obamacare and um, in, in order for more people to get insured. This is the way it's being done. Right, right. Well, they, on, on their website, they lay out, it, it's interesting what they consider poverty level, but uh, people who are at poverty level, there's a sliding table for credits against the premium. 
So in, in that sense, if you're really, really, you know, that poor, you will have your insurance premiums reduced. Yeah. And that's a good thing uh, for folks who in the past have been unable to afford health insurance, have health insurance. I mean, this, this is where the, um, the, the number of people who will be helped, uh, you see these numbers being going up, which was the right. intent of Obamacare all along. Well, yeah, yeah. No, they're meeting their intent. What, what's disappointing for a lot of people is that when they talk about the, he talks about the super rich and everything, and it's, it, he's not going against the super rich. He's going against mostly the average people in favor of the super poor. And, and most of us are putting the bill that maybe we should, you know, just because we're not at poverty level doesn't mean that we're all not having a hard time making ends meet. Hey, Joe, give me that website one more time. The website is taxproblem.org, but it's just easy. If you Google killer IRS, you'll get to my website. That's right. you find Joe Mastriano. Thank you, Joe. News on 710 KURV.